Alright, so we're back with the only game where the wealthiest people live literally across the street from the absolute poorest people. It's Thief Simulator. It's incredible. Like, on one side of the road, there's like scummy McBaggins, and on the other side of the road, there's like yuppie Von Dabsworth. And, I, like, over where I live, that does happen, you know, but it's at least it's a couple roads between the super wealthy people and the not at all wealthy people. <laughs> this is also the only game where you have to have extensive training in order to use a friggin' binoculars. Over to the thief bay, because I need to buy, how much is it? Seven, oh no, it's a, uh, I was gonna get all worked up over $700. It's actually a thousand dollars for a pair of binoculars. A thousand dollars. Whose binoculars are we buying? Is it like freaking Little John's binoculars? They all decked out with diamonds and stuff? A thousand dollars! I was complaining about thirty-five dollars for a freaking crowbar! So we gotta go over to Richie Rich's house. I also gotta disassemble this vehicle, I would imagine. And then my backpack's kinda full because I think we have a bunch of loot that we're supposed to deal with. Now I've never disassembled a car- Where the hell did it go? Did I just teleport inside of my place and then teleport back out? Or was that just showing me that it was in here? What's inside the hood? Ah. A lovely engine. So is this legitimately like a mechanic simulator over here? Do you- do you- Oh my god. I didn't think it was going to be this thorough. Jesus, you gotta take off the serpentine belt too? Exhaust manifold B. Where are all these parts going? Like, is this just going into like a little area that I have laying around? I mean, we've got, you know, it's a garage. Like, we have space. It's not going into my backpack. Mother of God, you have to take off each individual spark plug. I think it may have gone too far. <laughs> They're trying to do everything with this game. Oh my God, there's screws in the friggin' starter. You gotta be kidding me. I think I vastly underestimated exactly how impressive this entire endeavor was going to be. This is as involved as, uh, what was the one we are playing? Train mechanic simulator, where I was ripping trains apart. Mother of God. Pit crew simulator, go. I think that we can sell these tires, I feel like. I think someone wanted them. Since we uh, took everything apart, does any of this sell? I feel like those tires were definitely selling over on Black Bay car parts. Oh, mother of God. Look at, wow. There's a lot of money in all this. Uh, yes, absolutely, indeed. And then we need to get the gearbox off. All right, the time has come to really briefly go meet Hugo in order to sell, oh, Richie Rich Street. In order to sell some of the stacks that we've got laying around in our back pocket. You know how it is. You walk around one day, things just start multiplying. You go out with one TV, come back with two TVs. Build them back. It's like gambling, sort of. Only we win every time. Can't get rid of this box though. Oh, thank God he doesn't buy it. I was somewhat scared that you could potentially sell that box to the guy and really screw yourself over. Over to 204. Look at this. A whole new neighborhood. Look at all these delicious yuppie scumbags walking around, drinking Starbucks, wearing, I don't know, Uggs or whatever. I, I really, I don't really know what, what the appropriate footwear would be. But the point is, is that they don't know that the thief lord is here to liberate them of all of their tasty goods. Where in the world is 204? Man, you get a big piece of property up in this place. People driving around with Bentleys and whatnot. I'm in here in a hatchback. Look at this dude. You can almost feel that this guy is like, oh, look at that vehicle. It doesn't look like it belongs here. Yeah, well, guess what? Just like the last time someone said, great, you parked in a park. Guess what? I'll park right in their park again. I'll do it twice. I don't care. So right over here, I'm assuming this is Richie Richville. There appears to be a spot for a camera. Wow, look at this. Look at this gardening. Look at that decor. Looking good, baby. All right, I've got a spot for our binoculars. I don't really know exactly how they work. It looks like you can just kind of look. <laughs> I didn't mean to take the crowbar out. That's kind of suspicious. Anyway, it looks like you can left click and kind of like zoom in. And I think you can like middle button click or something like that. And that'll show you what's what. Let's go around the back though. Ah, so you got a dumpster by your house. Good. Good. Now all the shutters are down. So we have to wait for this guy to open up his place anyway. There's a window up there. Doesn't appear to be any way that we can climb up to it though. I'm a Spider-Man guy, but not that good. What kind of ride do you think is in there? I'm waiting for that garage to open up. I'll bet it's something legit. All right, it looks like the only way in is through this crappy ass gate. It's fine. There's our camera. Oh, that's not that bad. We can get past this. It's no big deal. You don't have a secondary camera, do you? One of those scumbags with a two camera setup. Doesn't look like it. Holding a thief's tool, a pair of binoculars, the 
this is some bull crap. Oh my, I'm being persecuted for using a pair of binoculars. I hope I can get in here. I think that that lady may have seen me. We'll see if the police hate me or not. Man, what if I was out bird watching or something? You can hear the birds in the background. People are like, oh, yep. Oh, police are already gone. I guess they didn't care that much. People are like, no, no encyclopedic knowledge retention around here. Go ahead and put those tools of nature observation away. All right, we're, we're, we're back. We're back open here. I mean, I got to watch. <laughs> This sucks. I gotta like watch myself now when I take these things out. So where's this where's this dude and his people at? I'm like I'm am I racking like a gun when I take them out? What is what is going on with these things? I'm not gonna lie, I don't like I don't see anyone. There's a globe in there. What is that? Is that a bunch of medical supplies? What's going on in this freaking house? Oh, here we go. Got him. Tenant routine. Right there. Okay. Ah, look at this. We've got another camera over on this corner. All right, now, you know, now that I look at it with the door open and everything, you guys are right, that does look pretty suspicious. Man, there's another camera right there. Look at that, right there. I can't quite get to it because I need to, I need my binoculars in order to see it. And there's two scumbags walking by me and God forbid I take them out. They're going to be like, ah, oh, police. You guys dressed more yuppie-ish here? I don't know, you kind of look like you're wearing the, well, no, I haven't seen a sports bra girl yet. Bam, right there. Freaking camera smorgasbord over here. You gotta do like the the slalom in order to get in. Did I miss a camera on this side? They come in quadruplets after all. You know, rather than look like I want the police to get called, I think I'm gonna park this thing over in the parking lot area. The parking lot area is right across from the house that we're uh, we're trying to burglarize over here. And plus, we gotta sleep for two hours or so because supposedly no one leaves for a little bit yet. All right. 12 noon let's find out what's what here oh there's a big computer in there oh <laughs> could use that for some more YouTube and uh, what else we got going on I think that that's I don't see anyone so far hold on let me take my air quotes thieves tools out freaking pair of binoculars that everyone hates all right I, I don't see anyone I don't see anyone else I think we're good to go all right first things first we gotta wait for everyone to go on past so we can use the electric lock pick what does she have in her hand? Is that a cell phone? Really? You can't lie to me. There ain't no one that's walking around with a cell phone by their hip. They ain't using it. That's unrealistic, Debs. All right, shuck and jive through here. A little bit of this, like so. Boop. Open on up. And we are deep inside. Look at that refrigerator. This place is amazing. I'm taking your vase. Actually, there's so many other things to take. I'm probably going to want to take other stuff besides this. I want this computer screen. I saw it. I've got to have it. I want the keyboard, too. Oh, a safe. Sweet. Woo! What do we got inside, boys? Oh. It's an antique vase. I mean, it had a star next to it, so maybe it's better than the average kind. What is with people in these posy dolls? Like, got a bunch of artists around here or something like that? Where's all your stacks at? You can't hide them from me. Ah, the kids' room. Oh, there's the ambulance. I was—I thought it was like an actual pack of medical supplies. Don't worry, kid. I'm not going to steal your beanie babies. I'm taking this lamp, though, because it looks freaking sweet. Ooh, camera. Mm-hmm. We've had plenty of golden goblets. I don't need any more of those. This is it. This is the place. Look at this. All right, so now we got to go over here, take this headset because it looks cool, grab the money. Put the box down. Job is done, and there's still plenty of loot to grab. Ooh, a Huawei locked phone. The locked phones are always big money. And an iMac. <laughs> the names of these things. Bracelet. That's cash. Another headset. Man, this place is a freaking gold mine. This entire street is gonna be crazy. Oh, look at that guitar. I can't even hold it. It's so big and so glorious, but there's nothing I can do. They came back and they locked the freaking door on me. You gotta be kidding me. At least I found out the rest of their, uh, the rest of their, I don't know what to call it, their patterns or whatever have you. How come it says unknown? We can see it's the Pattersons. I got all the fat loot. Is it because we don't know their first name? Is that how this works? I want to mark the last little bit of them. Eh, whatever. I'll figure the rest of it out later. We got everything we came here for. Well, and we dropped. Look at that. There's a giant, uh, windy thing. You know what it's called. Now, unfortunately, I don't think that we're going to get a good grade from the teacher because they ended up seeing us with our binoculars hanging out of our pants. And unfortunately, that's a big no-no in this friggin' neighborhood. But let's see what we get. We got, we probably got a lot of XP because we were 
hauling off IMAX like you don't even know. Oh, the Emerald Bracelet. All right, we got an E rating. There is a lot of big XP here, though. Mm. So uh, my cousin Vinny just called. He says that we need to skill up on electronics, which we have right here. So that should make the story go along. Give me that phone call, Vinny. Disable test alarm at home. Again, a test alarm. Just hanging out. Where do we even come up with this crap? I guess this is it. Oh, mother of God. What are you supposed to do here? Uh, okay. So, <laughs> here's the battery and this mess of spaghetti over here. Hold on. It goes around this way. So, this one. And then... It slip a doos like this comes over here and then this one and then this comes around oh my god it's like an optical illusion my brain is melting right here boom that's it right we did it yeah yeah Vinny You'll tell me about how good I am camera buy one yeah, I'll do whatever I I'll do what I want I'm gonna tell you what still not as much as the binoculars we need you to plant a camera I like how it's 206 OH. Don't ask. This guy's always like, you gotta stick it in there. He said the same thing about Richie Rich's box. He's like, you gotta stick the box in there. You gotta you gotta do it real slow and good. Oh, we gotta unlock the phone and then uh, disassemble the jewelry for maximum dollarage. Bam! Man. You guys don't even know. That was probably less than 10 seconds. Oh, Aunt Gloria. Your donation is well received. Especially with the upcoming holidays. I talk a lot about putting the kids through college, but they need Christmas presents too. Let's see how Black Bay's doing this fine day. I'm sure there's some uh, some very upstanding individuals that want some items. Let's take a look here. Oh, I still gotta sell that freaking gearbox. An antique book for eight thousand dollars. Oh, how about the antique vase that we had? Yes, two grand. Freaking nice. Hey Hugo. Yeah, the Welcome girlfriend's back. a big fan of IMAX or whatever they're called. IMAX, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and get rid of this. 899 bucks. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I'm gonna tell ya. We're, we're, we're at the point where we can probably buy our, uh, our youngsters a new car or something like that. I gotta, I gotta ask you guys real quick. You're gonna have to let me know in the comments section. What is the first car you guys ever had? I was gonna say mine is, was a, uh, 1990 Pontiac Grand Prix. That was pretty new for the time, 1990s. All right, 206 is all the way on this, like, cul-de-sac over here or something like that. Hopefully I don't take some dude's kneecaps out. I'm not even looking at the road while I'm driving. Man, look at this house. You gotta be kidding me. All right, let's take a minute, see if there's any, uh, cameras and all there have you. Oh, there are. I can see them right now. Look at this. One right here. Man, everyone on this street has really good fences. Everyone's fences are in really, really good repair. Kind of sucks. I kind of wish that they would let their fences deteriorate a little bit like uh, 10 whatever Greenview. Really? You beanbags only have one camera? Oh, no, you don't. I was about to say, what a bunch of slouches. Come on, keep up with the Joneses. There we go. All right, it's time to go to sleep for a couple hours. These guys won't even wake up until it's like, Eight o'clock. Can you drift in this game? <laughs> Whoops, sure can. You too can drift at the cost of just $17 in repairs. All right, hide our car in the foliage. And let's see, are these, are these people woken up yet? You guys awake? You guys doing your thing or what? Look at this, look at this gate. Man, the Washington's got it going on. Ah, oh, the cameras move. Well, crap. Ah, it's a lovely dining room you have. Hmm. Yes. I can see it from here. I know what Michael Myers must have felt like. Only, I guess he wasn't, like, stealing things and he wasn't using a pair of binoculars. I think we're gonna have to just do it to do it, you know what I mean? Oh, the, uh, the sports bra lady does live here. All right, I'm inside. The dude's here. I know he is. I just, I haven't seen him yet. It's crazy. Like, I know he's around here somewhere. I think maybe we can go in through one of the windows, though. You got anything in your cooler? Man, this cooler's empty too. Oh, I need a hacking PDA for this door. Well, that's nice. If I cut this, will the alarm go off? Yep, sure will. Ah, the familiar warmth of the dumpster. Nothing wrong with it. Any good thief knows all about the dumpster. Bye there, cop. Luckily, the cops don't seem to have gotten any smarter. But today, you never know. They kind of evolve now and again. All right, looks like we may need to change our angle of approach on this one. All right, we need a hacking PDA. Bam. You wanna race? Huh? You wanna race? Yeah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Scumbag. Hi there, madam. I'll be inside your house soon. If we can do this when no one's home, that would make our job a lot easier, though. So let's go to sleep for like three hours. 
Now that I found out about the handbrake, I'm gonna be using it all the time. There we go. Look at this guy right over here. This guy kind of looks like me. <laughs> Just looming around with his dark, his dark glasses on inside the house like he's cool. All right, we got the next part of the tenant routine. Making noise. That was, that was the, what is going on here? What the hell is this? Okay, this isn't my fault. This sort of weirdness. I can't open the door. Everyone's gonna, oh my God. Am I gonna be able to get in here? I think I am just barely. They're all stuck just out of range. Bunch of scumbags are all glitched out like right there. It's incredible. Like they are right next to me. I hope I can get in like this. All right, open this up, get down low, move over here. They freaking saw me, which is a bunch of crap. Like they had to because they're all just doing the hullabaloo over on the side over there. Squeeze past the cameras, hook up, oh, mother of God. Here we go. Man, we're getting pretty good at this stuff. All right, open it up nice and slow, and in we go. No big deal. Hopefully, everyone's a freaking sleep. What do you guys got in your garage? Anything cool in here? Look at the size of that. Is that a generator? Oh, there's a safe in here. We got to do it. All right, what do we got? Mmm, all the cash. Oh, Anna, like a Rolex or something? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's the stuff. It's a shame you can't steal this generator. I'll bet that would go for a pretty penny. What in the... We make the best memories. Okay. All right. Let's plant this thing. Oh, yoink. Oh, it's huge. All right. I'm going to try and get it out with us. It's going to be tough, though. All right. Let's plant this camera. Floop. Yes. Cell phone. Crap. I made noise just a little minute ago. I don't think anyone's coming. Ooh, microwave. All right. I'm getting a little too greedy here but I don't care. Video game console, we're grabbing it. These pads are worth big money too, we're taking all those. Oh, a laptop, a whole laptop. Hold on, I gotta I gotta remove some stuff. Well, I want that laptop. Ugh, between the laptop and the microwave, I'm gonna drop the microwave for the laptop. Crap, there we go. Yeah. And now let's grab that vase. We're taking that too. What is it? Oh, a security pin. Ooh, we can turn these off. Hold on, here we go. Listen, there it is. We did it! Thank you for your donation. And let's get the crap out of here. Oh, is that the tenant right there? That looks like the tenant walking right inside. Hopefully he doesn't see what's going on. Did you see the tenant was right next to Paul's? Okay, it's a foot chase now. We gotta find a dumpster. I think I know where one is. This sucks, this sucks, this sucks. Get inside, get inside, get inside, get inside. Oh, oh, oh. All right, we'll be back to pick up our earnings in just a second. We just gotta make sure that we gotta wait clean because there's a lot of money in my backpack right now. Oh God. That cop right there is like, I can smell it. I can smell a laptop. But I don't care. I'm going to go back in my car because that's where all the air conditioning is. Oh, <laughs> lucky us. Is it any cleaner in these dumpsters since it's the uh, the finer part of town? Now, hopefully that vase is still just laying on the ground. We can pick that up head on out. Oh, there it is right there. In fact, you know what? Just to make things a little bit easier on me, I'm going to drive the car up to it. Open this. Grab this. Put it in there. Close this. We're set. Man, we got so much loot in this car, I can barely run. Look at how slow it's going. All right, again, not the stealthiest run ever, but man, we had some comeuppance right there. Mmm. Oh, we got a bee from that. Get some sleep. I'm assuming Vinny's about to call us after I get like an hour of sleep, so we'll sleep for like an hour there. Yep, there he is. Hey, it's time to get our cam. Go fetch it and bring it in. It's just the thing we need to wrap this up. I'm hoping that there's nothing inappropriate on that camera. A lot of hacking we got to do here. Got to open this. There we go. There's the first one. I got a little little janky there with it, but it still worked. Now this laptop, I'm hoping this is going to be like the biggest money we... Is this like straight through? What is? What kind of hacking job was that? Was this like procedurally generated? $4,000 for that pot. That is hot. Hey, Hugo. Yeah, it's the weirdest Building thing. Bit. The ex-girlfriend just keeps finding, like, nicer and nicer stuff laying around. I don't know. I don't know what the deal is. But the uh, $1,800 for the watch, $1,500 for the other watch. <laughs> oh, you gotta be kidding me. The laptop is worth less than the Samsung? Oh, whatever. All right. I think we did pretty good. We're bona fide hackers now. Over at the ice cool shop. I think I missed this from the last... What's this say? Everything you need for winter is here. 20% off snowboards. Why do we have this in our shop? Anyway, hope you're enjoying Thief Simulator. Until the next time, folks. Stay foxy and much love.